Hi friends, Stacy here. Welcome back to our channel. I'm so excited because in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the books that Steph and I are going to be bringing with us next week for our cruise vacation. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. back friends we're so so glad you're here thank you for stopping by our channel my name is Stacy for new here I run this channel with my twin sister stuff it's a lifestyle channel where we share all of our passions interests and hobbies with you guys in different areas we're both business owners so we do business content we do lots of lifestyle vlogs lots of books and reading content planning content fashion and travel all the things, you name it. So if any of those topics interest you, we would love for you to support us and hit the subscribe button down below. We would really appreciate your support. We would love to welcome you into our family here in our community. We would really appreciate your support and we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year on our channel, which we know we can do with your support. We're already more than halfway there. And once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to do a fun giveaway for you guys to give back to you as a thank you for subscribing. So make sure to subscribe down below if you're not already to support us and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. But I'm so excited because like I said in the title, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all the books Steph and I plan on taking on vacation. So we are going on vacation next week. We are taking a cruise from the Norwegian Cruise Line. We'll be taking the Norwegian Joy Cruise ship to Bermuda for seven days. So we are so excited. It's been a long time. It's been six years since we've been on a cruise for my college graduation. So we're so excited to be going on a cruise. We're so excited to just be going away on vacation. It's been a long time coming. We really haven't done a vacation since last fall when we went to Vermont. I filmed a vlog. Definitely check it out up here if you haven't seen it. But we're so excited to be going away on vacation. And we're getting ready to uh, with packing this week. When this video is live, we'll actually be away on the cruise. So we're pre-filming this to go up while we're gone. So we'll be on the cruise as you're watching this. Um... Let us know if you have any fun trips planned, but of course a big part of our packing process as book lovers is um, the most exciting part of packing, which is deciding what books to bring on vacation. As you guys know, we love reading. Steph and I read every single day and we love reading in the summertime and um, one of our favorite times to read is on vacation. So yeah, we're going on a cruise. We're going to have lots of downtime. Lots of time to read. Stay tuned because we're going to be filming a whole cruise vacation travel vlog. And that'll be up on this channel when we get back. So stay tuned. I hope you're excited for that. But yeah, so I'm going to share the books that we're going to bring on vacation. These are all summary romance contemporary books because that's the genre stuff and I like to bring on vacation. We like to read more lighthearted books in the summertime. So I'm so excited. So first, I'm going to share with you the books that I plan on bringing on vacation. And then quickly, I'm going to share the books Steph will be bringing on vacation. So I hope you enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the books that I am going to be packing in my suitcase to bring on our cruise vacation. So like I said, they're all lighthearted summer books because that's what Steph and I like to read in the summer. So I'm going to show them all to you. Let's go. So the first book I'm going to be bringing, and this is a lot of books here. I'm not going to be reading all of these, um, and I may not actually pack all these because I need to see how heavy my suitcase gets, but these are all the books that we would like to bring, like, in an ideal world, so just keep that in mind. Um, I don't think I'm going to be bringing all of these, but they're the ones I would love to read on the cruise, um, and I'm also going to be bringing my Kindle Paperwhite because I might do some reading on my Kindle, so we'll see. But what I'm showing you today are the physical books we're going to be bringing from our t summer TBR. So the first book I think I'm going to bring is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. You guys, if you've been in the community, you know all about this book. It came out last year and it was super hyped up in the booktube community and on Book Talk. Everybody loves it. It's um, I don't know too much about it, but it's described as like the adult version of The Summer I Turned Pretty. And yeah, this book has just amazing, amazing reviews. Steph and I have not read it yet. We bought it recently in our book haul that's coming soon. Stay tuned for that. But we haven't read it yet. So we figured this summer, of course, because it takes place in the summertime, we figured it would be the perfect time to read this. And I think going on vacation, since there's like water and everything, I feel like this would be a really fun book to read on the cruise. 
So the first book I'm bringing is Every Summer After. The second book I would like to bring is A Bend in the Road by Nicholas Sparks. You guys know if you've been around, I love Nicholas Sparks' writing. He's one of my all-time favorite romance authors. I've read so many of his books. He wrote like The Notebook, The Last Song, Dear John, A Walk to Remember, all of those that got turned into movies. And I've read the majority of his books. Um, i read pretty much all of his older ones. I'm still catching up on his new ones. But this one, A Bend in the Road, is one I have not read yet, and it's an older one. And I found this in a little free library recently. I was excited to find it. I love finding his books used or for free. And yeah, this is one of the ones I haven't read from him yet. Um, I may or may not be bringing this. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to actually take all of these books I'm showing you, but these are books I would like to bring if I can fit them. Um, I just love reading Nicholas Sparks books in the summer. They're mostly like lighthearted, adorable like romances with a little bit of like dark twist to them. So this is one of the ones I haven't read yet, so I'd really like to bring this on the cruise. Let me know in a comment below if you've read any of the books that we're sharing. Let me know what books you like to bring on vacation, and if you're going on any trips, what books you're bringing. I would love to know. The next book I'm bringing is actually not a romance book like the rest. This is a cozy mystery. You guys know I love cozy mysteries. I got into them last year and I'm obsessed with them. I pretty much read at least one a month now and I always just like to have them in my collection because I read them very very quickly and I always need more. So this one I always find them in a little free libraries which I love because they're free and I usually only read cozy mysteries one time and then I'm ready to get rid of them. I don't really reread them. So I love when I find them in Little Free Libraries. So the next one I'm bringing is A Cozy Mystery. I've never read this series, but I've heard of this author. This is called A Deadly Deletion, a Booktown Mystery from Lorna, Bar Lorna Barrett. Barrett, Barrett, I hope I'm saying it right. It's such a cute cover. So again, I don't know anything about this. I found it in a Little Free Library. And I always grab the cozies because I always like them. I know this one takes place um, something with like a book town or a bookstore. I think the owner, she, um, I think the main character owns a bookstore. So you guys know I love cozies. This is one of the ones on my TBR, in my TBR that I have not read yet. So I would love to bring this on the cruise because like I said, I don't know if I'll read this genre on the cruise. I like to read more lighthearted summer books. But I figured it'd be nice to have a, a variety just in case I'm in the mood for something different. And I like these mass markets for travel because, you know, they're super light and small, so they fit really well in a suitcase, and I don't really care if it gets damaged in my suitcase or anything like that because it it's used. I got it from a little free library, so I'm going to be possibly bringing this one just to have a cozy mystery with me. We'll see if I end up bringing it. The next book, I also, um, Steph and I got from a little free library, or no, actually, I'm sorry, Steph actually bought this at Goodwill, um, a little while ago. This is called His Second Chance Family by Rayanne Thane. You guys know I'm a huge fan of this author. She's like an adult romance author. I've read a couple of her books and I always enjoy them, and like I said, Steph bought this one, but it sounds really good. Um, I think it's like a Harlequin's, um, book. It has like two novels in one, which is cool. So the books it has are His Second Chance Family and Katie's Redemption. Um, I don't know too much about like what these are about, but the cover just looks summery to me. With It has like a balcony or like a porch um, near like, like the water. So it just kind of seems like it would be a good book to read in the summer. Again, I don't know for sure if I'll be able to fit this in my suitcase and if I'll bring it. But it's one of the books I would like to read because I just like, you know, lighthearted romance books like this in the summer. So we'll see if I bring this one, but it looks really good. Again, same thing with this one. I found this in a little free library and I shared a lot of these in my summer TBR video. I'll link that up here. Um, check it out if you missed it. This one is The Second Home by Christina Clancy. And again, this is another little free library one. Um, it's used. I don't care if it gets ruined during the travels with my suitcase. Um, I, I kind of want to bring more used books than brand new ones because, you know, just in case they get damaged. So I don't care what happens to this one because I didn't buy it or anything. I got it in a little free library for free. Um, this one, I forgot what it's about. 
it's something with a family house on Cape Cod. So it's definitely summery. It has like a cottage on the front. So again, I figured this would be a good one to bring on a cruise vacation. Um, I've never read anything from this author. So we'll see if I end up bringing this one. The next one I'm really excited about because I've had this on my summer TBR since last summer. I bought this last year and I just didn't get to it. So I'm really excited to get to it. I had to buy it. Um, I bought it at a used bookstore, but it actually looks brand new because I love the cover and I think it's a British author and I love British authors who write like chiclet books like Holly Martin and such. So this one just looked really good. It takes place in the summer. So I know I'm definitely bringing this one because it's super thin. Um, it's actually, it's actually like a little, it's about 300 pages, but it kind of looks thin, doesn't it? It doesn't look that thick. So I'm really excited for this one because it's about a, a summer getaway. This one's called The Summer Getaway by Tilly Tennant. Like how adorable is that cover with like the, um, the, the chair, the umbrella, the drink, and then like the water. So this one is about a woman who goes on a summer getaway, just like the title says. So this is absolutely perfect for a cruise vacation. Very summery. I love reading books about vacations while I'm on vacation. So this one, the summer give getaway, I will definitely be bringing for sure. The next one I am most likely going to bring again. I bought this one last summer and I just didn't get around to it. So it's been on my TBR for a year now. So I really need to read this one. This is Hello Summer by Mary Kay Andrews. You can see the sticker. I bought this in the bargain section at Barnes & Noble last year. Like I said, I've had this one for an entire year and I haven't read it yet. I did not get to it last summer. So I really, really want to get to it. So I'm going to try to bring this. It's a very chunky one. Mary Kay Andrews books are very, very big. Um, I read the Hud Tide Club recently and it was the same. They're very chunky, but I'm going to try to bring this one. Again, it takes place in the summer. The cover is just adorable. It has the water and then the girl lounging on the, the beach. I forget what it's about, but like I said, it definitely takes place in the summer. So I feel like this would be a great book to take on a cruise vacation, just even based off of the cover. So I think I'll definitely be taking this one if I have room in my suitcase for it. One more that I plan on taking on the cruise vacation. This is a reread. Um, I've already read the series in high school, as I've mentioned before. But I've been rereading it because of the show that just started that came out last summer. This is It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. This is book two in the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy by Jenny Han. You guys know the series. It's been around and Amazon did turn it into a TV show. Season one came out last summer. Season two is coming out right now. The first three episodes are out at this time and I watched two of them. And I'm loving the show so far. So since they started making the show, I've been wanting to reread the series because it's been a long time, you guys, since I read these. I hadn't read the series since high school, and I got these, like, newer copies, stuff bought them for me a couple years ago. So I've been wanting to reread the series for years because there's so many details I forgot over the years, and, you know, since they turned it into a TV show, I wanted to reread the books to go with the show because I wanted to kind of refresh myself of, like, the story, the characters, and, like, the details and everything to kind of see if the book like aligns with the show. I think they did a really good job with the show. Let me know what you think if you um have watched it. Um yeah, I think they did a good job with the show and so far they are um the show is pretty well aligned with the books. They do change a couple things, but I think that's a good adaptation overall. So this is book 2 again because season 2 just came out on Amazon. Like I said, I want I would like to reread this one. I reread the first one last summer before season 1 of the show came out. And I wanted to get to this before season two came out, but it just didn't happen. So I would love to reread this um, on the cruise if I can, um, as I'm kind of watching season two of the show, which is based off of this book. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it. But yeah, this is another one I would love to bring. So those are all the books that I plan on bringing on the cruise. This is what they look like. Again, I don't, I'm probably not going to be bringing all of them. 
because I'm not going to have enough space. But those are the ones I would like to bring. So I wanted to show you. And then I'll kind of narrow it down when I'm actually packing the suitcase to see what I can bring. But like I said, I'll also be bringing my Kindle Paperwhite because, you know... Those are great for travel because they have like uh, so many books on there and you know you don't have to like carry around physical bulky books. So I'll definitely be bringing um, some of these in my Kindle Paperwhite. And of course I have to mention I will be bringing a book sleeve to hold these physical books in so they don't get ruined. I bought this recently from Rachel's shop. Her shop is Happy Go Lovely Sleeves. Check her out. You guys probably know who she is. She has her own company where she makes these book sleeves. So they're basically where you just slip your book in and it keeps it protected like this. So you just bring it with you when you're traveling. You slip your book in and it just keeps it protected in your bag, in your purse, in your suitcase so your book doesn't get ruined. It's such a great idea. I bought this recently. It also has a front pocket so I think this would be great to slide my Kindle into. So I'm so glad I got these. I wanted to order some before we left for the cruise so I can bring the book sleeve on vacation with my books. So I definitely recommend I'll leave her shop down below. Um, I showed these in my recent one of my recent vlogs, and I got another one too, um, but I actually let my younger sister borrow it because she's actually going on a cruise right now, the week before us with her fiance. So she has my other book sleeve. I actually ordered a couple more scents, so I'll do a haul when those come, but I highly recommend getting a book sleeve like this um, because it really does help protect your books. Um, like I said, when you're traveling, so you can prevent them from getting damaged because us book lovers don't want our books to get damaged, right? So I will definitely be bringing this book sleeve with me. So those are, again, all the books that I'm going to be bringing. Now I'm just going to share a few kind of like honorable mentions, um, other books that I would like to bring, and like some picks that Steph is going to bring. So the first one, these are Steph's books. So the ones, these are the ones, like I said, that she's more likely to bring. The first one is Mermaid Inn by Jenny Holiday. I love this author. I've read a few of her books before and Steph bought this one. Um, it just looks really beachy. I don't really know what it's about, but it's the perfect summer read. Again, it's a nice, thin, mass market paperback. Um, so it's perfect for travel. It's just easy to throw in your bag. So I think this one, Mermaid Inn, is the first one that Steph is planning on bringing on the cruise. The next one Steph's probably going to bring is this one. It's called The Bookstore on the Beach by Brenda Novak. Again, she's another one of those authors that we've read and we like her books, like adult romance. Um, this one is called The Bookstore on the Beach, so you can't beat that. It just has a BG cover. Again, I don't know what these are about, but they just look like the perfect summer reads, so I'm sure Steph will bring that one as well. Another one we would both like to bring that we haven't read yet is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I'm sure you guys know who this author is. I read Fixer Up from her and really enjoyed it, and I have not read any of her other books yet. So um, we've heard good things about this. I think they're turning it into a movie, which is cool. So we would love to bring this one on the cruise for both of us to read because it has a super summery cover, and of course the title, It Takes Place in Summer. So I've heard mixed things about it. Um, I have a feeling that I will enjoy it, but so we'll see if we end up taking this one, but we would definitely like to since it does take place in the summer. The next one I've already read, but I want stuff to read this on the cruise. So she's going to take this one. Of course, this is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I can't get over how adorable this cover is. It's so summery. I read this last summer and you guys, I was obsessed with it. I loved it so much. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't read it. You guys already know I sound like a broken record. Steph and I are huge Christina Lauren fans. We literally love every single book they've written. We're reading Love in Other Words right now and we're obsessed um, I read Roomies recently, absolutely obsessed. I love all of their books. So again, I read this last summer and Steph hasn't read it yet. So she plans on bringing this one because it's literally the perfect summer read since it's, you know, it's very summery. So Steph's definitely going to bring this one, she said. And I'm very, very excited because I really want her to read it since I loved it so much. Whenever one of us is excited about a book, we always want the other one to read it. And like I said, we love Christina Lauren. We've loved all of their books. They're an auto buy author for us. We just love like the tropes they use. We love the men that they write and the characters and the like 
their writing is so well done so we recommend checking out their books but Steph's gonna bring on Honeymooners on the cruise and I'm very excited for her to read it. The last book Steph is going to be bringing on the cruise um, this one is called Shipped by Angie Hockman. I love the cover on this one. Like, how beautiful is it? It's so pretty. Like, the blue and, like, the man and woman, they're in the water floating on a tube with the palm trees. Like, this is just the cutest cover. So, again, this is Stuff's book. She bought it, so she's going to bring this on the cruise. I don't really know anything about this. I don't know what it's about. But I could just tell from the cover that we would like it, and it's perfect for the cruise. So I know Stuff is definitely planning on bringing this one as well. But that is it, you guys. Those are the books that Stuff and I are planning to bring on our cruise vacation next week. Like I said, by the time this video is up, um, we'll be away on the cruise when you guys are watching this. Um, but we're so, so excited for our vacation. Like I said, we're going to be filming a whole cruise travel vlog for this channel, so stay tuned. That'll be coming very, very soon when we get back. But we're so excited to go away for a week and just relax, recharge, um, just detox from social media. We're going to be completely off-grid. We're not going to have Wi-Fi or anything, um, so we're not going to be able to be on YouTube this week at all. So, um, we would love your support. Um, if you leave a comment below, we will answer it when we get back. But we're going to miss you guys a lot, but we hope you have a really great week while we're gone. And stay tuned because we have lots of fun videos coming when we return from vacation. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the books we're bringing on our cruise. Let us know in a comment below if you have any fun vacation plans, where you're going, let us know if you've read any of these books that I mentioned and what you thought. And let us know what books you plan on reading this summer. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. We love and appreciate you all so, so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below. Join our book club if you haven't already. And we will see you when we're back from vacation with our next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.